Good morning, Standard Fours. Thank you for sending in your answers to those two questions that I sent you yesterday and to your worksheets. Right, uh, now some, some, some people have asked, oh, but if there's zeros, what do we do? Right, so let's do some, some sums of the zero and you'll see actually that they're not really all that difficult. Whoops, I've got a red pen, let me get my back pen. Right, so the first of, first of all, we look at our sum and we see in our units column is a zero. So we say five times zero is zero. Not times nine, zero times nine is zero, right? And that's about as straightforward as it gets. Remember now we are still finished, even though it's a zero, we actually finished working with that column. So we still put the zero down there. Right, then we say 6 times 5 is 30. Remember, we're working now from units to, to the, the tens column. 6 times 5 is 30. So we put the 0 there for the 30 and we carry the 3. Then we know that 6 times 9 is 54 plus 3 is 57. And then no, do not forget to do your adding, which is zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus nothing is seven. Five plus nothing is five. There we go. Now here on uh, our next sum, it also has a zero in. So let's see how we approach this sum. So the first one is Three times zero is zero, right? Three times seven is 21. We had no carrying, so it's a straightforward 21, right? And remember, we are now finished with the three, and we put a zero here to indicate that we are done with the unit column, right? Then we're going to go on to our tens column, two times zero is zero seven times two is 14 right and with as with all the other sums we're gonna add those two results there so it's zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is one 2 plus 4 is 6, and 1 plus nothing is 1. And there we go. That's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please um, send me a message and I can go over, over it with you. And then let's just have a wonderful day and enjoy doing your multiplication. Bye.